top 10 most dangerous moves banned in WWE. Number 1. Bridging Package Powerbomb, aka the Joker Driver. This move is only usually seen on the indie scene, uh, preferably CZW, ROH, etc. Very dangerous. Uh, don't recommend. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> right on the neck. Yeah, not waking up. Number two, Half Nelson Choke Suplex, aka pretty much a Half Nelson or a T-Bone Plex. Right on the neck. Uh, normally, Japanese wrestlers would do this in All Japan, New Japan, mainly related to King's Road style or Strong style. Uh, wrestlers similar like uh, Kenta Kobashi would normally do this in his repertoire. Very dangerous. You'll never see this in WWE ever. Like, ever. <laughs> yeah, right on the head. Number three, package pile driver Kevin Steen's old finisher. He used to do this back in ROH. Now he just teases everybody in WWE. He likes to troll people with it. You know, he never does it. Number four, what is this? The butterfly pile driver. This one, uh, normally the Briscoe brothers would do. <coughs> Very dangerous. Most of these moves, like this one, also derives from uh, Japanese wrestling. A lot of the butterfly holds are pretty much banned in WWE, except for the, of course, guys like Triple H, CM Punk. If you're good with the boss, he'll let you use them. Okay, this one, a flip pile driver, the Canadian Destroyer, actually. A P.D. Williams creation, only on the indie scene, never done in WWE. Except maybe John Cena, I think he tried doing this, but he did almost like a code red type of thing. Alright, the Barry White driver, Psycho driver, made famous by Super Dragon, Pro Wrestling Gorilla. You might want to check them out if you want to see this move done. And uh, of course, the Cop Killer by Homicide, Vertebreaker. This move, of course, also deri derived from uh, Japan, All Japan Pro Wrestling. <coughs> Very dangerous. You mainly see it in Lucha Libre Wrestling, Japanese Wrestling. Uh, no protection for the head and neck. The Brain Buster, commonly used back uh, during the 80s, 90s. Uh, rarely used in WWE because everybody nowadays seems to know how they don't know how to take a bump on the head or neck. <coughs> now this one, of course, El Generico used to do. He used to add this in the, his repertoire. Brain Buster on the turnbuckle. Very dangerous. Don't recommend taking this bump or spot. Because there's so many things that could go wrong with this move. Uh, it should be banned from life. Muscle Buster. Now Samoa Joe does this. Or the Kaniku Driver. He did this to Tyson Kidd. And he didn't take the bump right. He had to get surgery for his neck. Yeah. Uh, very dangerous move. Wouldn't really recommend it. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, not good. And of course, this is number 11. Actually, supposed to be number 10, but we threw it in. Burning Hammer, made famous by Kenta Kobashi. He only did it seven times, of course, in his career. Uh, very dangerous. No protection for the head and neck. I mean, you literally <laughs> gotta be a badass to take this bump. And there it is. And of course. <laughs> this video sponsored by the only wrestler in WWE that they never let wrestle, Peter North. He's actually my creation. I wouldn't want to see him wrestle because he's seven foot four, six forty, moves like a lucha libre, and he's of course gay. The following contest is scheduled yeah. for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Thanks for watching.